Hi guys, my name is Janaba. I'm Nicole. And this was good at B H H S. <laughs>
Finally, the engineering class explores robots. Hey Siri, are robots going to steal our jobs? Yes, humans will be obsolete in the very near future. Robots are often a subject of fiction and pop cultures, but they are becoming more of a reality each and every day. Meet Tug, a robot that was created right here in Pittsburgh that works in hospitals across the country. Our engineering class interviewed a software engineer that works with robots. Hey Mr. Rocky, it's nice to meet you. Tell us a little about yourself. Hello, my name is August Rodkey and I work at a local robotics company here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, what my company does, we supply robotic solutions to um, hospitals and even manufacturing plants um, here in Pittsburgh um, and, and throughout the different states in the U.S. and even uh, abroad. So why do businesses install robots? One, it's um, cost saving for them. Um, you know, the robots are going 24-7 around the clock and uh, a lot of times they do um, tasks that normal people, you know, can't do or are not willing to do, um, whether that be push a 800 pound linen cart uh, around the hospital or in a manufacturing plant haul a thousand pounds of uh, machine parts and so on. So that's why a lot of these places now are going with uh, robotic solutions and it's a it's a very exciting time to be in a engineering or, or technology field um, especially here in Pittsburgh as it as it grows. Um, what did you go to school for? Well I went to school for a computer engineering technology degree and what that entails is a uh, kind of computer engineering is a mixture of software and hardware um, you know you would learn to program and you would also learn to program these different microcontrollers or different uh, computer equipment one project uh, that we did in school we set up a fan and we would have it turn on when the room got to a certain temperature so things like that there's you know engineering and all sorts of stuff nowadays everybody has a cell phone you know there's software and hardware and that engineering is problem solving how do you use problem solving in your job yeah, so there's definitely a lot of times where you may come across a problem, um, especially in a technology or engineering field. Um, you know, problems can can pop up in any any moment, um, and you may not necessarily have the fix for that problem or be able to fix it yourself. So my advice would be to one, once you identify the problem, is to then understand that problem as much as you can. So if you understand it, you're going to be able to relay that information of what you're seeing better to the per person that's going to be able to fix it. Do you guys feel like you make a difference? I absolutely feel that we make a difference. Um, let's just turn, talk in terms of um, in a hospital environment when a nurse orders a medication for her patient. Um, some sites the nurse has to leave her unit and actually go pick up the medication for her patient at the pharmacy and some pharmacies are in the basement or they even may be in another building. So a lot of times when they employ a robot, the robot will actually provide the transport of the medication from the pharmacy to the nurse. So the nurse can actually spend more time focusing on patient care, um, doing her rounds, doing her checkups, doing things that puts the patient as the number one priority. Thanks for chatting with us. After the interview, we had a class debate. Yeah. Hey, he was talking to me! No, he was talking to me! Why you? <laughs> Once robots take over, humans won't have to do anything and become very lazy and folk. I think robots will not negatively affect the workforce because people will adjust to the job change and robots will function as tools. I feel like they're going to take majority of our jobs, but now all of them, it's going to be like, ah, robot all over again. Robots will positively affect the workplace because it will make jobs for humans a lot less stressful. We can have robots do human jobs, then there goes the human job that the robot has. So. 
there's a loss of a job right there. No, I do not think robots will negatively affect the workplace because they can do physical labor that humans cannot do. They can like pick up heavy stuff and we need that. Mm -hmm. If you're worried about robots taking your jobs, focus on soft skills. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Watch. <laughs> Nicole, stop, stop making me laugh. This is Janaba. This is Nicole. Thanks for watching. Bye.